grind is real, man. I'll tell you, the addiction to Diamond Dynasty that I've had over the last couple days is absolutely insane. I have been grinding every single night. As you guys can see, boom! Yeah, I'm, I'm just showing you the team logo. Badass, though, right? What? So right now, this is kind of what the team I've been working with with. Now, you guys know last week, I went out of town for three days, and I'm going to tell you rule number one. If a new game comes out and you go out of town for a couple days with your bunch of your friends that also play that game, don't go on the game because we opened so many packs. It was literally disgusting, dude. But on top of that, I was able to sell a lot of the things I had and I've made myself a bunch of stubs and also I've really gotten myself very, very close to completing a lot of these collections. As you guys can see, man, all these diamond pulls are from pulling packs. I have not bought one diamond off the auction block now i wish i had some recordings for you but it that's a whole nother story but anyways we've completed a lot of these teams but i've been grinding for team epics now there's a lot of close teams that i can finish right now and get some of the best cards in the game but i don't really want to do that unless we pull it but i'm gonna go ahead and get ourselves some more diamond players in today's video and i'm gonna open packs until we pull one I feel like this weekend, I'm ready to jump into the online gameplay for Diamond Dynasty. As you guys can see, I just wanted to give you like an overview of where I've been on the Diamond Dynasty. One more game, and we're done with Conquest. I only need 23 more hits with Johnny Damon, and I get a guaranteed flashback legend Diamond player. With the Team Epics, I've been really trying to work on certain players, and for today's video... I have finished two of them. Now, I'm still eyeing on a couple more. So, if you guys have any OP team epics that you think I should get, comment down below and let me know. Right here, we have the Tampa Bay Rays, bro. BJ Upton. Love the Rays, and I love Upton. He's got speed, he's got decent power, and he's got a cannon, bro. So, as you guys can see, I have just now exchanged all these players for a diamond card. If you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, there's five different tiers. What you have to do to complete the Tampa Bay Rays and I'm going to show you what you get in return right here. Exchange mission complete. 93 overall diamond. BJ Upton, bro. Check him out. I'm going to go ahead and redeem him right here. I'm almost at a level 80 as far as XP, dude. I've just been all about this game lately. I'll go ahead and show you the stats of the card. But before we do that, we have one more card we're going after. And that is 99 overall. By far the best card in the game right now. Andre Dawson. But after adding 97,000 exchange player points, we have officially finally finished the best team epic in the game. 99 overall Andre Dawson. This guy's stats are absolutely insane. Now I am continuing the grind for 99 overall Ken Griffey Jr. Where I think we're at like 60% done. So hopefully in the next couple weeks, we can actually get him on the team. But for the time being, this card is insane. Now you guys can see David Wright I'm working for, Hanley Ramirez I would love to have, Edgar Martinez. If there's any other cards you guys think I should get in the Team Epics, please comment down below. Finally adding BJ Upton to the team, 93 speed, 69 contact, 65 contact, but 84 power against lefties and 80 power versus righties. Plus, the card's badass look. I, you, you guys know I... If the card looks good, I want it on my team. My baby, bro. 99 overall Andre Johnson. Now, we did get 91 overall Jason Worth. And luckily, bro, over the weekend, I pulled every single card needed for the Nationals and the Mets, which have the two best collection rewards. So you can see 99 Dawson, bro. 83 speed. 95 contact versus lefties. 93 power versus righties. 97 power versus lefties. He also has 90 vision and 97 arm strength. Legitimately think for 93 overall, John Carlo Stanton, I only need like two gold cards and I can complete that entire collection to add him to the team. I don't know if you guys want me to add Stanton to the team. We basically have already improved our outfield and there's a lot of missions that you need to do for Ken Griffey Jr. that I don't know if I want to do that right away or not. Regardless, finishing the Nationals and the Mets, Getting the team collections for those guys and also getting people like Bryce Harper to add to our team definitely makes our team amazing. I really feel like if I really wanted to, I should have an all-diamond team. I'm not too sure if I want an all-diamond team because I've been using people like Trey Turner, who I pulled out of a pack, and he's just been absolutely unstoppable with the 96 speed. But I will not 
end this video until we pull a diamond. And uh, I look keep been opening packs all week, selling everything I get, and basically opening them for free. Only like three packs in, and we're going to get our first gold player. Now, guys, if you don't play MLB and you're like, oh, my God, it's a gold. Golds are very, very good. You pull a couple gold. Fuck the power. What's making up the fucking level? 90 overall, Trey Turner, guys. That is the best gold card in the game. He sells for like 30,000 stubs. And for the entire 50 packs, it costs 50,000 stubs. So I have made back like 65%, 70%. This actually might be a fire bundle, guys. All it's going to take is that one flash of blue. I'm still looking to pull people like Mike Trout. I definitely want to get some of the cards that I don't have. Any Cubs, I did pull gold Anthony Rizzo. But the Cubs have so many diamond cards. It's almost damn near impossible to do that collection unless you just spend a ton of stuff. Now, when I showed you guys the hits with Johnny Damon, there is a bunch of really, really good cards you can get from the diamond flashbacks and legends. I know a lot of you guys have already finished that. So if you could comment down below and let me know who you got. I'm not sure who I want to go for. I definitely feel like anyone but the outfield. I feel like our outfield is completely stacked. And maybe like a first baseman. I did get Miguel Cabrera in a pack opening. But I just really don't like hitting with him. So I'm really, really after Paul Goldie. Mm. Right on, man. Oh, 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 oh. Really? I thought we pulled one. That doesn't count. All right, next pack we go. Don't. Oh, oh, oh. oh nobody move. Hey, back to. Look, technically back to back diamonds we're gonna get some diamond catcher equipment 37 packs remaining i went ahead and i opened up another box simply because we pulled trey turner and if i sell everything else we actually made profit now a lot of you guys follow me on twitter man i want you guys to take a screenshot of your team ps4 share take it with your phone and tag me on twitter I want to see what everyone else's team looks like, who you're grinding for, who you got already. Seems like a lot of you guys have already finished Conquest, and you've finished all the diamond rewards for that, which will give you great rewards as well. I just feel like now, I'm running out of outfielders, bro. Hey! More diamonds! Well, equipment and trout. Why so much diamond equipment, bro? Even though I might have gotten a lot of pulls that you guys aren't going to see because getting a silver card like Justin Upton that sells for a thousand stubs isn't anything really to get excited about. But when you get 20 of those and 15 of this guy and 100 of this guy, there's a good chance after a couple hours of selling, I make all my stubs back. But I'm trying to get that fire pull for you. Okay, Brian Dozier. That's a good pull. 87 overall gold. Maybe today's video was destined to pull every piece of diamond equipment rather than diamond players. Another diamond equipment. Yeah, another gold. Ryan Braun right there, 89 overall. Now you can see that he's an 87, but with an inside edge based off his performance right now live in the game. I think I'm officially going to give up, man. Cue the sad music. As you guys can see on your screen right now, final pack. And now what I'm going to show you is the amount of stubs we started with, all the selling of all those cards, to where we are now. Now basically the main reason I made this video was to give you guys an idea of what I've been doing and for you to help me build a lineup down below. So I'm going to just go through these positions nice and slowly and let you guys see all the cards that we have and where we should put them for the gameplay online. As you guys can see, left field, we do have Giannis as well, who we did pull. We've got Trey Turner, Corey Seager, and that's gonna be, a Corey Seager is gonna be my shortstop. But I can play Trey Turner at either second or third base to utilize that speed. Here at second base, we have Ian Kinsler right now. Definitely gonna work for that 97 Ian Kinsler, Miguel Cabrera, and, you want to throw hands, Anthony? At the catcher position, kind of up in the air, but I've been playing Tope Nasty at catcher, and it's actually been working really, really nicely. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm, dude, I tried, guys. I tried probably way more than I should have. But if you want another pack opening, man, let's smack 10,000 likes on this video, and I'll bring it to you. Till then, I'm signing out.